don't be boring. I think that's a really important thing for anybody that's in the creative realm. Don't be boring. I'm Jay, and I'm a freelance creative director. I work for an ad agency, um, design and advertising agency, that specified on the design side. Like, it was like, the strength was design. My boss at the time came to speak to my school, and uh, whereas everybody else that we, he was talking to had was all suited up and tied up, I had on my Kinko's uniform, because I still worked at Kinko's, and, but I was the only person that was asking a bunch of questions, because you know we were taught that professionals ask questions. So I asked a bunch of questions, and he's like, you know, I like your passion, um, you should come out and intern for me. Got the internship, started working there, and I worked there for four years. My favorite thing, favorite things that I've ever worked on are more big picture based. So I just did the rebranding for Case Logic. Pretty much, that's a crazy story. Just put that on my back and just ran with it. Looking at people who didn't st start off like en as engineers like I did, it helps to have a good art background. So, you know, painting, drawing, uh, writing, any of the humanities, like really do all of them. Get all of them in there, because they all matter. People come in, they want to quote unquote learn the programs. Oh, I know Photoshop, you know, if you're a designer. Or I know this program. That does not make you a designer or an advertiser. What makes you a good designer, a good advertiser, a good marketer, or anything is your brain. The program, your hands, or whatever are the very last part or towards the end of that process. Learn about how images come together. Learn about white space, negative space. Learn about all like the basic rules. Know what the Bauhaus school is. Know all the different artistic movements and how it, they influence design. That's how you get your foot in the door. Become a student, be, become like a speaker of the language of design and advertising. That's the best way to get into it. Be true to yourself. Do you, do what you feel is right. Don't look at everybody, don't do, look to the left and right. Do what you gotta do. Um, have your own perspective and people will resonate with that um, because people hire people. And nobody wants to hire four people that are the exact same if they're a good manager or a good leader. They wanna hire people that have different strengths. So bring your strengths in your portfolio to the table. Advertising, that whole world, every facet of it is very competitive. Um, however, I like to view it as darts more than boxing. When you're boxing, you're trying to knock your opponent out. When you're playing darts, you're trying to get your aim a little better. You're trying to get more consistent in the targets that you want to hit when you want to hit them. I value collaboration. So I don't want to be knocking people out. I want to be building people up and help them, having them help me figure out how to hit my target better. It's a lot of hard work. <laughs> it's a lot of late nights. It's a lot of not sleeping, but I realized that my hard work and my not sleeping and my late nights have to be because I'm moving towards the truth of who I am and what, how I see the world.